I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it still has life up there, right? Yeah, oh yeah. 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 Okay, uh, you're underwater film shoots. You've done more than 5,300 dives. Mm -hmm. You do commercials, music videos. You, your work has appeared on all kinds of networks. Uh, tell us about Nemo's Garden. Nemo's Garden is an extraordinary place. I get my inspiration from different places, and I read an article in uh, Atlas Obscura about this underwater gardening uh, project. It's an experiment that they have going on in the Ligurian Sea. You can see it on, on your screen. And they actually grow, it's sort of like an undersea aquarium, or a terrarium. Uh -huh. And the condensation creates its own fresh water. They do have to add nutrients because it's really kind of distilled by nature. And uh, this is uh, Johnny Fontanese, who's the project director, and he's uh, checking the basal. And let me tell you, I wish that it were uh, that, that it was possible to have smell vision because the, the, the aroma in there is absolutely intoxicating. Well, it, 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 kind of like when you go through fresh farmers markets when you really smell this yeah. like, nutrient dense of plant, if you will. Yeah, but it, it seems heightened. Uh, perhaps because uh, it, the uh, the concentration of the sense. Yeah, it was interesting because you know the opposite side of that is we, there's certain things that we can do in space with zero gravity, and yeah. so this is a different atmosphere to do things in. And at some point, people could actually do farming under the under the water in the yeah. ocean. Okay, yeah. the secret underwater wine cellar. Now you're talking. <laughs> there you go. Um, this is another another thing that I got my inspiration from a, a magazine. Um, in, in this case, it was Condé Nast Traveler. And I found out about these guys who, uh, they, they have a company called Edivovina. It's a winery in Croatia. And they, they are both divers. It's Eddie Bajurin and uh, Ivo Segovic. And uh, they call their company Edivovina. That's Ivo right there opening up one of the uh, amphorae. And that's the cool thing about it. They, they bottle their wines, and in addition to aging it, in conventional subterranean uh, cellars. They also encase the, the bottles inside those ancient looking clay amphorae, as, as you can see there, yeah. and then let them age underwater in a very constant year-round temperature and relative darkness and it's just a perfect idea, a perfect situation, and it's very, uh, it's got a historical component. Fascinating place. Yeah. I love me some Croatia. Yeah, it's a whole different idea of a winery, huh? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I, when I told the couple people you were coming on the show, they said, oh, can you ask him for us, please? Okay, so one thing was Bermuda Triangle. Never been there. I can neither confirm nor deny. I don't know, I would know sir. Yeah, right. <laughs> the other one was Atlantis, the missing city under the sea. <laughs> Never been there either. I've stayed at a resort called Atlantis in the Philippines and love it. It's yeah. a great place. It's like my island away from Ireland. Uh, but no, I haven't been to either of those mythical places. Yeah, mythical places. All right, so Jenny and Bob, there you go. Okay. Sorry, uh, Jenny You said TED Talk on shark prevention. And, and the sharks are one of those creatures. You know, we see the movies and the whole bit. And, of course, when you have it in the headlines, you know, there were three uh, shark attacks this, this you know, just the past few days, actually. Mm -hmm. And so people are thinking that the sharks are out to get us. And you're like, not so. No, I mean, sharks are dangerous, certainly, as, as you can tell by by the, the attacks that happen, but this is almost always just the wrong, wrong place, wrong time, mistaken identity. Uh, it's it's an occurrence of uh, opportunism for the on the part of the shark. If somebody's out there with a string or a fish or something like that, the shark goes, "Oh yeah, awesome," and they come and get part of a human arm or something and go, "Oh boo," you know. <laughs> so you know they they don't they don't target us. They don't hunt us. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, there were 2,778 confirmed unprovoked shark attacks between 1958 and 2014, yeah. about 500 fatalities. But the point you're making, if you are a shark in the ocean, that your job is to find food all day. Yeah, and right. You have somebody who's on a surfboard, and you see, like, oh, there's four good pieces of fish that are paddling in the water. There's a great example of that at Moody Gardens on, on Galveston, where they have some silhouettes. A surfer on a board right next to a sea lion. And they, they look almost identical. And so when, when a shark looks up and sees that, you know, they go, mm hmm. Yeah, sometimes. That's, some, that's some takeout for me, baby. Yeah, All right, so. so we've always been told that if a shark came up on you, that you just punch it in the nose. Is well, that mythical or what? You know, that, that has actually happened. And uh, very famously, I think it was last year, a man uh, saved his daughter from a, from a shark by, by punching it. And so that's that's an, uh, an answer better left to you know, somebody from MMA or something. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah.
But uh, you, you can do whatever you can, honestly. I mean, if, if something like that happens, it's it's rare. I mean, it, it, let's face it, you, there are, there's a better chance of getting killed by a champagne cork than there is. <laughs> oh, really? Than, yeah. than there is uh, getting bitten by a shark. I mean, yeah, Coke Because the stats I mentioned earlier was 1958 when they started the tracking that. Yeah, so that's, yeah. that's been a while. Yeah. Okay. Um, with that said, sharks have been kind of like the... the we're afraid of us, really, yeah. because uh, people will use them for their for soups or for their you know their skin and all types of things. To the point where and we know that we eat animals, but to the point where they're being threatened. Yeah, humans in, in about 150 years have un, have begun to undo something which took nature 450 million years to perfect. How arrogant are we? To, to do something like that for soup. Oh, this makes me look cool, you know. If you want to look cool, come down with us and and, uh, and get this close to a tiger shark. That's cool. That's the way real men shoot sharks. Oh. <laughs>